Okay. Uh, it seems that people, people, uh, I've met some people who are only happy when they know the world is going to end. <laughs> there was a guy at a party who walked up to me and said, I hear you're an astrophysicist. I said, yes. Well, tell me about the end of the world and the Mayan prediction. Is that, is that real? He was looking all concerned, right? Right. But kind of intent, right? A bright-eyed concern. And I said, no, it's, it's a hoax perpetrated by the scientifically illiterate on the scientifically underinformed. Well, that took the joy out of it. Yeah, well, then he walked away <laughs> dejected. Of course. Exactly. <laughs> he walked away hunched over like I somehow ruined his day because the world was not going to come to an end in the way he had imagined it. But let's put some facts on the table. The Mayans had a calendar, and the calendar cycled. And they had a, a short count cycle, a short count calendar and a long count calendar. The long count calendar restarts basically the end of December this year. People studying the Mayan calendar after the fact, not the Mayan scholars by the way, but people who are kind of amateur um, ancient culture studiers, okay. they were sure that because the Mayan calendar restarts that that would correspond with the end of the world. And they knew the Mayans had um, technology and science, and they, they knew they had some kind of technological abilities, and then asserted that the Mayans had deep insight into the future of the world, that even modern-day astrophysicists do not. do not. That the Mayans know that the world is going to come to an end, mm -hmm. because on December 21st, the sun, the earth, and the center of the galaxy align. And that alignment means kaput. We're all done. Well, if you don't know physics, yeah, you might be prone to say that. But if you know physics, physics 101, you can calculate the force of gravity, the extra force of gravity that this would render on Earth, and you can show that it's ignorably insignificant. But then you might think, well, maybe it's just the little bit you need to be the tipping point right. for things that want to go bad and are just sort of held there with the tiniest of force, and you just need a little bit to tip it. Well, all right. If you're scientifically literate, what you do next is say, how often does that happen? By the way, science literacy is not what you know. It's how is your brain wired for asking questions? Okay. So if someone says the world's going to come to end on December 21st because of this alignment, just ask, how often does it align? It aligns every year on December 21st. Oh, really? So where were you last year? Exactly. Okay. You know, so, so when you study how the actual universe works, you're in a position to then um, inoculate yourself against the charlatans out there who would have you believe the world would end and as a result want you to join their cult or to hand them money. Or here's what you do, test how strongly they believe it. On, on December 20th, say, uh, please sign a over all of your assets into my name. Right. Then see how, how much they put in. Exactly. Because yeah, they all need it if the world's not going to be here, you know. That's so, a good test right there. It's a good test. 